Is it sciatica? Is it piriformis syndrome? If you're dealing with pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness down your leg, it can be really confusing to know exactly what's the cause of your problem and therefore how to correct it. In this video, we're gonna unravel that mystery. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniel Bridge. I'm a chiropractor in Helena, Montana, and this channel is dedicated to teaching you tips and strategies to take care of your spine as well as lead a pain-free life. Dealing with that pain, numbness, tingling, weakness going down into the leg, it's obviously very painful. It can really interrupt your life. It can make your quality of life really low. So that's why it's super important to know where is this pain coming from so that you can know how to properly treat it. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is a piriformis. The piriformis is a very problematic uh, muscle that many, many people deal with. It's a hip muscle and it goes from this bony prominence out here called your greater trochanter and it attaches here on your sacrum. And one of the functions that it does is it turns your foot out, it helps to support that hip. Here is a, a chart that really shows us all of our spinal nerves. And as you can see here, this is the sciatic nerve. It's the biggest, longest nerve in the body, and it can be aggravated by different things. So what we just talked about is the piriformis. So this sciatic nerve right through here is where the piriformis is. And that nerve can go over the piriformis, it can go under it, and sometimes it can even pierce through it. And depending on the health and the condition of that piriformis, it can aggravate that nerve. So you're gonna have pain here, and it's gonna go down your leg. Now, you can also have true sciatica, which stems from a disc bulge around this part of your lower back. And what's happening is that disc is bulging out onto the nerve, putting pressure on that nerve, and then you're gonna also have pain. That's why it makes it really difficult for people to distinguish, is it true sciatica, is it piriformis syndrome? Because a lot of the symptoms are very, very similar. Piriformis syndrome is a lot more rare, but there's a few things that I do in my office with my patients that can really help me to decide, is this a true sciatica, is this a disc bulge putting pressure on those nerves, or is this a piriformis syndrome? When a patient comes into the office, it's a little bit like they're a mystery and I'm the detective and I'm going around, I'm trying to find my clues to really figure out what's going on so that we can provide the best treatment possible. And if I say so myself, I am Sherlock Holmes. But when a patient comes in, uh, first thing I'm gonna do if they're having pain, uh, some of those symptoms we talked about down into their leg, I'm gonna lay them down on their stomach. So here's my, my spinal model and this is their head and this is them down on their stomach. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check that piriformis muscle, which goes from right here to about right there. And I put my thumb into that gently at first, and then I push firmly to see how the patient responds. If they jump, if it's very painful for them, that's a good sign that it could be coming from the piriformis muscle. On the other hand, I'll also check out here in the lower back. Most sciatica is going to come from the bottom two discs. This is the L4, L5 disc. L4, L5 disc, and the L5, S1 disc. So when we look here on their back, that's the area, the area where they might have some tenderness. So I'm gonna take my thumb in this case, and, and I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push into these muscles. I'm gonna feel these vertebrae. I'm gonna see how they're moving. And once again, I'm gonna be waiting to see how the patient responds to that. If they're very tender in this area, that's a good clue that it could be coming from a, a lumbar disc. There's a few other things that, that we look for, and this is really when they're having their symptoms, how they're experiencing their symptoms. So if you're having a lot of pain when you're leaning forward, when you lean forward, that puts a lot of pressure onto these discs. It can cause the discs to bulge out and butt up against those nerves. So if you're leaning forward and that's causing pain down the leg, could be coming from a disc. Now, it gets a little tricky because also when you're sitting, you're putting pressure on that piriformis. So there's a few different things we can do. One, if you stand up, you take that pressure off the piriformis, you lean forward, you're still getting that pain going down the leg, could be a disc. Same thing, if you're coughing and you're sneezing, what that does is that increases the pressure um, on your discs, on those nerves. If that's causing pain down the leg, it could be another clue that it's a disc. Getting a proper diagnosis on whether you're dealing with sciatica or piriformis syndrome is very important in making sure that you're receiving the proper treatment to handle this painful condition. Luckily, there's a lot that you can do at home for both piriformis syndrome and sciatica, so stay tuned for future videos where I'm gonna talk about each of those and what you can do. 
Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share to help our channel.